Hi everybody, I'm making this video on how to show people how to convert the Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight Benza into metal saw using three things only. Um, only things that are required, um, this pulley, this pulley, and this belt, and that's it. No more things. So uh, this is a uh, nine inch OD, uh, 4L for the half inch belt with the three quarters uh, board, right, from Amazon. So this is nine inch again, uh, three quarter inch board, has the key on it. And then um, this other one, I got it from Ace Hardware. So what I did, because it was hard for me to find a step pulley, so I just cut one of these channels um, and then welded this one, you know, just put some welds right there and that'll work. Is that safe? Is that legal? I'm not sure. My whole family is illegal. <clears throat> so this one, it's basically this from Ace Hardware. But that's a eight inch. This is nine inch. I picked this up just in case if I needed it. So what I did, I put uh, some tack welds on this, you know, ran the Benza, made sure I had the right RPMs. If not, I was gonna put this on. Um, and this is the belt. So this is, uh, this is from Ace Hardware also. That's the part number, I believe. Um, this is 31 inches diameter, the outside diameter for the belt. <clears throat> so basically what you do, you just buy this pulley, take the other one off, slide this on, and then you're gonna slot this hole just a little bit. I cut the washer so it doesn't hit the bottom. So you're gonna have to slot this hole just a little bit. That way, the pulley is not super close to this other one, right? And then you're gonna use, this is the arena pulley, so you can slide this up and down. I ended up doing a shitty work here, I'll fix it. Um, but yeah, so only things that are required, this pulley, this one, again, I had to cut this thing. I got, I got rid of one of these things, one of these channels of this pulley, of the very first one, and I welded this on top. Otherwise, there's not gonna be room here to fit this pulley. It's gonna, you're gonna have to cut here and probably move this one. <clears throat> so, uh, and of course, you're gonna need a metal blade. So I got this blade, that's a 14 uh, TPI blade, 1.8. Um, I just need this to cut sheet metal. I do a lot of uh, sheet metal work. I do also like some fabrications. You know, build basically everything by hand. 90% of the parts, you know, I gotta cut them by hand. So that's why I'm, I'm doing this. Um, how I know I think I got the right RPMs, I just made a mark with a green marker with this one. So I just made a mark and then uh, I had another, I, I, I have another Benza in the other garage. So um, I just made a mark, I was running it, I was counting, you know, every time it meets this side of the Benza, I was just counting, you know, the other saw, it's uh, the blade, it's a little shorter than this, so it means that this one has to take just a little longer, but I kind of know I'm there, I'm gonna turn this on. Uh, just to let you know, I got this not perfectly uh, straight, you know, it's just, um, it's not perfect, but uh, it works. So, it's pretty slow. I'm gonna get some metal.
Yeah. And this blade, you can cut radius or whatever with this blade. Uh, it's 1.8. I'm not sure if it's safe to use this blade. I would probably go with 3 16 or a quarter inch or so. But yeah, that's it. So one more time for the people that don't listen like me. So a 9 inch outside diameter, 3 quarter inch bore with the key. Uh, 4L, that's for the half inch belt. The belt, it's at 31 inches outside diameter. And this is 80 inches diameter. So, you know, this one looks like it's for a wider belt, like for 5L or so, but the bottom is pretty narrow. So it's good. I mean, it's fine to run a 4L belt on this. Again, I cut one chain of this, you know, just welded this guy. You know, and three things. I spent less than fifty dollars for everything. I spent I spent like twenty seven dollars for this, seven dollars for this, and seven dollars for the belt. So seven plus seven fourteen plus twenty seven. I don't know how much it is, but something like that. Less than fifty dollars for that. Again, here's the part number for the belt. Uh, the pulley has to be one of these pulleys from Ace Hardware. That's the part number, this is nine inch. You're gonna need eight inch, otherwise the RPMs are gonna be high, I mean lower. And then that one from Amazon, nine inch OD, three quarter inch bore with the key. Thanks everybody.